we have we have been discussing in module 5 the balaji raguen case in today we will try and get it done as much as possible uh, balaji raguen versus union of india in the light of the events of misuse of national awards the constitution constitutionality of the awards was challenged as violative of article 18 of the constitution because it was reported that people have been using these titles uh, as a quantifier to their full name a petition was filed under article 226 of the constitution in high court of madras by balaji raghavan seeking by way of a writ of mandamus to prevent the union of india from conferring any of the national awards we were on petitioner and respondent contentions um now let's see the debates that took place in the constituent assembly regarding the same support mr kt shah conferring of titles offended against fundamental principles of equality distinction had to be made between titles which are heritable and thereby create inequality and titles given by governments for the purpose of rewarding merit as well as academic titles so the the want of a serious distinction to be made between those titles that are conferred by the government for remarkable merit vis-a-vis those that people are just using or are buying for their own political cultural ethical ends opposition stood for mr c rajagopalachari it should be left open to the legislature to decide from time to time whether titles are good or bad if there was a nationalist communist or socialist policy and the profit motive was removed there would be a great necessity for creating a new motive in the form of titles support shri prakasha supported by saying that all that all that the clause sought to do was abolish the corroding corrupting practice which makes individuals go about scurrying favor with authorities to get particular distinctions opposition seeth govindas and mr h v kamath complained that the clause covered only the future conferment of titles and that it was necessary also to abolish titles conferred earlier by the alien imperialist government uh, okay so all the titles previously given should be removed and in support was uh, that the article talks about the corroding effect of the titles given and people scurrying for political favors based on these titles that is what was sought to be abolished and not the titles in themselves the final amendment mr t t Krishna Machari sought to add the words not being a military or academic distinction after the word title in the clause it was necessary because certain types of titles had to be permitted the government having already decided to confer certain military distinctions the state might have decided to revive academic titles and a university might not be completely divorced from the definition of state the amendment was accepted on december 1st 1948 so abolishment of titles of zamindari etc what was done academic titles however were retained and titles of military distinctions too because these were state conferred titles and it was sought that they were necessary to boost the morale of civilians as well as military personnel now what are the various interpretations which can be taken place the framers of the constitution sought to put an end to the practice followed by the british in respect of conferment of titles they therefore prohibited titles of nobility and all other titles that carry suffixes or prefixes as they result in the creation of a distinct unequal class of citizens putting titles as prefixes of or suffixes is against right to equality and therefore the entire contention was fought whether it is an aberration of right to equality or not however the framers did not intend that the state should not officially recognize merit or work of an extraordinary nature they mandated that the honors conferred by the state should not be used as suffixes or prefixes that is as titles by the 
recipients uh, one needs to understand that there is a dilemma in um, and a lot of trouble the state needs to recognize exceptional work done by people in various fields and that therefore titles and awards have to be given as a significant a uh, memento of their achievements in sphere of uh, public health care literature peace etc um a country's identity is also made by the people that that distinguish themselves in various other fields conferring titles is giving merit to their distinction and extraordinary work vis-a-vis the entire idea of equal citizens look at it this way not everybody in the class can come first so should the title of who stands first or should the title of percentage be um absolutely completely uh, violated avoided nullified i know i'm opening a can of worms here but understand that um uh geniuses need to be given their due for their ex- exceptional work done in their respective fields human progress is earmarked by such milestones achieved by individuals why not confer these titles to them as a community and rejoice in them and yet those people who receive these titles should be humble enough to not add them as prefixes and suffixes to their name so this is the basic dilemma that is faced by the nation as a whole in this case what is the position in other countries united states of america whose constitution specifically bars the conferment of titles of nobility follow the practice of regularly conferring civil awards like the presidential medal of freedom The Canadian government established the Order of Canada in 1967 and it is awarded for a wide variety of fields including agriculture, ballet, medicine, philanthropy, etc. philanthropy, good work towards human kind. The Order of Canada has three levels of membership. has three levels of membership, companion, officer and member. So three tier of let's say awarding awards are uh, done in various fields in france the palms academy is awarded for merit in teaching and for literature science and other cultural activities so in most of the developed countries this practice seems to be followed judgment the national awards are not violative of the principles of equality as guaranteed by the provisions of the constitution the theory of equality does not mandate that merit should not be recognized article 51a exhorts every citizen exhorts uh, invokes passionately every citizen to strive towards excellence in all spheres of human and collective activity so that the nation constantly rises to higher levels of endeavor and achievement it is therefore necessary that there should be a system of awards and decorations to recognize excellence in the performance of these duties but national awards do not amount to titles within the meaning of article 181 and they should not be used as suffixes or prefixes and a procedure was laid down for the same how these titles are awarded now this all of this is from a um, powerpoint presentation which i will be giving you tomorrow my question to you is given the scenario in which we are today there is a team of doctors led by a certain doctor indian who finds a vaccine for corona virus you do not think that the person has levitated himself to um so much of philanthropy in producing the single vaccine that he deserves to be awarded for the merits that he has bestowed on mankind and that are these titles to be ta- uh, are these titles in any which way conferring favoritism to a particular individual 
yes the procedure laid out to deny them the political ends done to uh, procure them for uh, people who belong to certain categories is very detrimental to the very spirit of these titles but i feel personally that achievements exceptional achievements done in various fields need to be given merit to people need to recognize them otherwise humankind is lost we are all masses we are all in the mob who rises amongst us should be um, should be conferred upon with diligent titles nothing which obscures the rest of the humanity but something that elevates him for having served a particular end very magnificently think about it think about your arguments for and against and i hope we get a chance to discuss them so this was one of your cases we will start with the other case in the next video lecture